Hey everybody, welcome to another Horror Mystery Box Unboxing. This time we have another one from uh, the BAM Box, our BAM Horror that comes in. This is the last one of 2020. It will be number 12. And in this one, we have themes from uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. We have The Hills Have Eyes, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, and uh, Santa Slays, which I thought was pretty fun. Because you usually never see anything from Santa Slays. The good old uh, Bill Goldberg playing Santa. Uh, matter of fact, we just watched that uh, a couple Sundays ago for our uh, little horror movie holiday movie-a-thon we did. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Now, uh, the, uh, the BAM box has the horror. It has a game. It has a geek I think it has an anime now. So there's your four options. I always go horror, of course. So let's go ahead and crack this one open. And it is for fans, by fans. And there's always an autograph inside. You usually get uh, some form of a movie prop, uh, a enamel pin, uh, an autograph, and a form of art. They do ask for uh, shirt size, but I've, I have never seen. I've got this for a year so far. This one makes a year. And uh, I've never seen a shirt. But well, they do ask you for a search shirt size, so I don't know, maybe sometimes, maybe, because every once in a while they'll do a level up, and the level up will have uh, maybe uh, a t-shirt in it, I'm not sure. But sometimes it's a signed Funko, sometimes it's a signed something else other than just a signed uh, 8x10. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. <laughs> right up top is a really cool thing, and I'm a little upset uh, about its condition, but I guess they had to fit in the box. It is a front license plate that says, hope we can bend this back good because I would like to put this on the front of my truck because uh, the Evil Dead and Ash vs. the Evil Dead and stuff like that. Bruce Campbell in general is one of my favorite people, but that is groovy. And that is on the front of his car in the TV show. And that's really awesome, but sucks it got bent, but I'm sure I can level it back. I mean, bend it and straighten it back out. But that's cool. Let's go on the front of the truck. Uh, next up, we have a pin. And, oh man. I want to say it's somebody from the hills. Have eyes. It's going to take me a second. Because it looks like it's the original hills have eyes. The, uh, I think it's Papa Jupiter. I want to say that's who that is. It took me a second. So I know it's not Mars. But it might be part of Papa Jupiter. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. There's our pin. Next up now, uh, I forgot to add with the other stuff that we've been getting these artist cards here lately. And they do them in pairs. Like there's always one that goes with this one. And last month we got Buffalo Bill. So of course this month we got Hannibal Lecter. And his iconic mask so he doesn't bite. And let's see what else. We have our scratch off ticket. We'll save. Next up is usually, or usually at the very bottom is our uh, autograph. So next up should be our uh, art print. And it is. I was really hoping for something like a pin or movie prop from Santa Slays, but that's our art print. And it is very cool. Big old Goldberg as Santa. And, uh, if you it's in the far corner, it's one of those I forget what the game is called. It's where they slide down the rock with the brooms and stuff. But if you've seen the movie, you know the uh, reference of all that stuff that's on the the art piece. That's a really cool art piece. This is one I would keep for sure. And last up should be our autograph. Now I'll tell you that uh, all are the autographs that the BAM box does is certified, and it, this one has a Beckett certification, just like how some of them have the JCA uh, office office authentication and then so this one looks like we have everything here so I would guess this is uh, Silent Night Daily Night 2 is what I would guess and yes it is it is oh Eric Freeman he played Ricky garbage day it says punish right there very cool now this one I really like this box this box is neat I got something from uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead we have a really cool autograph so, set this right here, and let's go ahead and check out our little cheat sheet to make sure what we got. Uh, our celebrity autograph, 
is by Eric Freeman that played Ricky himself in Silent Night, Daily Night 2. Uh, our collector's pin is from the West Cravens 1977, The Hills Have Eyes. And it looks like it's made by the uh, Alley Cat Graphics. And it is Papa Jupiter. But if we got a level up, we could have got Pluto or Mars as a limited edition. And it looks like we have a... we Our art piece is... Usually you have a little card if it's a, there's a level up inside so you know that you got a uh, different form of the uh, art. But it looks like our Artist Alley piece from the, as a level up. And, and it is Santa Slays. Now the original looks like it's just him standing on top of some stuff. But we got the really cool one with the two axes. Which is very awesome. Our Hannibal Lecter artist card. And our prop is the original Evil Dead trilogy. is one of the uh, favorite horror movie franchises. Bruce Campbell, Blown Away, blah, blah, blah. It's a license plate. And, you know, of course, it's from the Ash vs. the Evil Dead. But that's everything. Now, the uh, only other level ups could have been a different pin. We could have got a different uh, photo, which were just uh, posters. They were the two different kinds of posters. We could have got those. But I really like the uh, little uh, movie grab of him swinging. And it looks like maybe... Uh, instead of uh, Punish, he had a Naughty on there. So, very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and scratch this off. <clears throat> nope, nothing this time. What the fuck? Okay. But, you know, that's everything in this month's band box. This is number 12. And uh, it's a very good box, I think. Very cool box. Uh, I pay roughly 30 because it's, I think it's twenty nine ninety nine, and then shipping and handling, so I think it's about thirty four dollars is what I pay, which isn't bad, because you're getting a, an autograph, and usually your autograph usually costs about uh, thirty bucks, and then you get a prop replica, an emblem pin, so I'd say it's a pretty fair deal, if you get cool stuff that you like, like if you go in and you only see one thing in the uh, stuff uh, you got a chance of getting, I would say pass on it, because you could get maybe a, an, an, an enamel pin. That's something you didn't like, but then you have all this other stuff that you know you don't like. So, but you can also do, uh, but you can find them at uh, thebandbox.com. You can find them uh, also at the bandbox on their social medias, on Facebook and Instagram. And I would suggest you check them out. I mean, there's some pretty neat stuff here, and uh, I think we'll keep going with these. And I'm hoping before the uh, the new year, I finally get my fright crate in. Because that is late. And it said it was going to be arriving very late. Is what my thing said. Which I've already seen a lot of uh, other posters already have posted theirs and opened theirs. And I've been dodging it because there's a trick or treat item that I'm really excited about. And I'd like to see what it is. Uh, but if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, share the video around. Leave a comment down below if you want. And uh, go check out our TikTok. But that's everything. Hope to see you next time.